time. Oh. Afternoon, guys. Guess where I am today? Give you a little look. My local haunt. Grew up here for 32 years on the water here. And there, this is where I learn all my stuff. Learn where to fish. Prison waters, Edlong, your minor area. And yeah, it's good to be back. Haven't been back here for five years and feels like I never left. Gonna be doing a bit of bait collecting today. I'm gonna bring back the green nipper. No one knows about it. Spoke to a lot of people and they don't know about it. So I'm gonna bring it back, show them how it's done. Try and get some nippers, squirt worms. We'll just see what we can get. Just show you how to get some bait today. Got my mate Aaron with me today. Hey guys. And yeah, we just see how we go. Even brought some rods. Might chuck a line in the water too. Yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll go over the bank now actually. Look at this. Look at all these holes. These are the pink. Oh, mind Aaron in the background there. He's clearing his belch in. But yeah, mind all, look at all these holes. These are all yabby holes. Tide's a little bit higher still. I'm hoping I can still show you the elusive green nipper. We really want that tide a lot lower to get them, but hopefully we can still get them. But we'll try our luck on yabbies first. And squirt worms, we need the low tide too, so just got to wait for that tide to come down a bit. Pretty funny little island, this one actually. You get all the breeding comrades up there, shags. Brings back a lot of memories, this island, from when I was a kid. These oysters, extremely healthy. Yeah. Extremely healthy oysters, these are. No problems eating these. No shortage of them. We're in action. Already got a couple of rippers in there. These are good sized yabbies too, I'll give you a good look at them. You don't really get small yabbies around this area. They're all sort of really good sized yabbies. Good brim baits, good whiting bait. But yeah, these are good sized yabbies. Pink yabbies they call them. Look at Aaron go here. Pretty easy pumping around this area. But like there's three in one hole right there. Three, three big ones. So yeah, really easy pumping around here. Another couple of beauties in there. Lobster. Yeah, that's a big male one with his big nipper there. One, uh, one big daddy. We'll take that small one too. Whiting bait. Oh, fell in the landmine. There's your stamina there, and you, you lost a bit of stamina over the years. Yeah, <laughs> get the bit <laughs> Digging deep on that one. <laughs> one yabby. Sometimes they are deep, eh? You get them on that last pump. Nice Two. See if he can beat his record. Three. Four. He's beat his record. Four. Oh, five there, Aaron. Drain. Five there. And look at that rock lobster. You can almost eat that one. Alright, I'm going to try for green nippers. I'm on the way home now, it's very, we're on the way home because the tide's not low enough and I just spotted the bank, what probably is deep enough here, so I'm going to have a go and hopefully I can get you a green nipper to show you it, because that's all I want, it's one green nipper, just to show you what they are. So the go is, you got to find the shallow weed bank, high and dry out of the water, mush it up like that to a big mud pool. 
and hear that cracking noise you can hear in the background they're growing nippers you can hear they're snapping their nippers hear them they call them green snippers green crackers they call them we'll keep going they're definitely in here i can hear them I only want to get you one green nipper, guys, just to show you what's going on. Because this is a dying art. No one does this stuff anymore. Just got to get in there, mush that, mush it up. Sit there and wait. They usually come up pretty easy. Of course, they're camera shy. But I can hear them, that snapping noise and the cracking you hear, that's the green nippers you hear. Alright, we'll keep going. Here we go, got one. I freaking got one. Here we go. That is a green nipper. It's a dying art, like I said. You gotta work for them, you gotta come in the weed, you gotta mush around. That's just a little fella. But they're kind of like a freshwater yabby. They got a they got a big piercer on them, and that's what makes the snapping noise. You can hear it all through the weed bank, you hear that snapping noise, that's that nipper. Top bait they are. You have to work for them. But I just wanted to show you that. So pass the info on so other people can do it. Low tide. Get on the weed banks. And yeah, just just have a mush around. You will pick them up. The old green nipper. I couldn't believe it when I spoke to about 50 fishermen and no one knew about them. So, yeah, I'm passing it on to you guys. Here you go. Well, I hooked the fish here on my rod, which I thought was my fish, but it turns out it was a fish on Aaron's rod, which my line was tangled around, and he felt like a good brim, actually. Um, we just thought I just had to snap off quickly and sort him out. But, yeah, it felt like a good brim when I hooked him. It's actually Aaron's fish on his line, but I hooked him somehow. Yeah, beauty brim. Good 35er. Show us, mate. Give us a good look at him. He's a beauty. Yeah, I, I thought it was on my rod. He bloody, <laughs> I hooked him, but I was tangled around Aaron's rod. So there we go. Yeah, it's good fishing around the rip here. This always used to be one of my local favourite spots on the outgoing tide get a lot of mull away big broom big flathead in here it's a lot of flow through here so yeah generally fish is pretty good car in front of them oh yep another broom oh, feels like a well it might be a snapper this one i thought it might be another broom but got a little bit of a head nod about him Maybe a green. Oh, a little dewy. Look at that. Are you kidding me? A little mull away. You were just talking about that too. I was just saying, you get a lot of school dew in this spot. I used to pull a lot of brim, a lot of school dew on the outgoing tide. Look at that. Absolute tiny, tiny. This is the smallest mull away I have hooked, I think. But absolute perfect of a big one. Miniature of a big guy. It's perfect conditions at the moment for these guys. Really dirty water, a lot of rain, and there's heaps of these guys in the system. It feels good to be back in my own system, and first first time back down here, got a mull away straight away, and a good brim, so yeah, it's good to be back. Just need a bigger one of them, eh? Good to see, but isn't it? It, show, it shows the health of the system when you're uh, catching little ones like that. Ooh. Another one here. What have we 
got here this time. Little snapper by the feel of me, he's getting a lot of head nods. Oh, another little mull away. I just, I, I just said. Same one you threw back. I just said when you get one of these guys, you'll tend to get a lot. And yeah, there we go, another mull away. One after another at the moment. And that's what you get on the fresh bait, guys. Little yabby, long shank hook. Beautiful little mull away. Second one, second. Look at them. Perfect little miniature they are of the big guys. No matter what size they are, they're just. Really a good fish to catch. He's only 30 centimetres, that one, but still good fun. Anyway, we'll let him go, and hopefully there's some bigger ones mixed in. Yeah, we're just using the old yabby straight on the long shank. I reckon, we'll, I reckon they're thick out there at the moment, these um, mull away, mate. You ready uh, right to let go? I reckon they're thick out there at the moment. They would be. Is, Mama, is Mama and Papa got to be there underneath. Let's have a look. Oh, you yeah, have our hook. You can see your line spinning. Little snapper. Oh, little mull away. Look at that. They're just one after another here. I tell you, you want to catch a mull away, you get down the Brisbane waters. They're bloody thick at the moment. No shortage of them. Please. They're only little, they're only 30 centimetres, smallest mulloway I've come across actually, but still a beautiful fish. Look at them. They're a gorgeous fish, the mulloway. Beautiful little boy. There you go, mate. Leave him go. There you go. There you go. Bloody thick, aren't they? I reckon there's thousands in here at the moment, mate. There might be a room. Oh, gee. It does feel bigger. I might have failed him or something. Jeez, there's some fish around at the moment. Oh yeah, bigger model, bigger mull away. Yeah. Uh, three yabbies, three mull away. They're getting slightly bigger. This one's about 45. So there is big ones mixed in. We had some big baits, big live mullet. I reckon we'd be getting them some big mull away. But it's great to see. Anyway, let him go. Get him back in. Great to see these guys. Yeah, we had some live potties or something out, mate. We're beginning to oh, get yeah. bigger models right now. Bloody fish after fish, dewy after dewy. What do we got? Is this another dewy? This is crazy. Little fat. This is the fifth dewy. The fifth dewy in five baits. Beautiful catch and relief. Fifth. Wait. Fifth, he loved throwing them around. But, um, yeah, fifth Dewey, five baits. It's bloody, it's insane. Look at the condition of these little guys. They're beautiful fish. Yeah, let him go, mate. Oh, no, I got a bigger mulloway. Whoa. Yeah, I got a bigger mulloway here. Wow. Wow, we've been waiting for the bigger one and seems like I got him here. Wow. I'm fishing very light here, 10 pound line. It's not ideal. It's not ideal to be onto a decent fish, but. Around, mate, yeah, I probably am, but he's a good fish. May even be a keeper, this one, mate. May even be a keeper. Look at the weight. Whoa. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be careful when you're fishing light. Little fish. You don't want to bust this trace off. Very light line we're using here. That could be a panty by the feel of him. Not that I'll probably keep me, I'll probably still let him go, but definitely a bigger fish than what we've been getting. So they've been gradually getting bigger. We started off 30 centimeters, we got up to the 45. And this one feels a bit bigger again. This one got a double hook up on my line. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You might have him on your hook, yeah, yeah. judging from what happened last time. Look out for that motor. Yeah, I'm right. Jeez. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a play eagle ray. Oh, my. Well, I didn't expect that on a freaking yet. Oh, it's not even an eagle ray. 
It's a blue spot. It is. Yeah, it's a, it's a blue spot, Ray. Bloody hell. You didn't even fight. Usually they go like the clappers, those things. They do. They usually spool you off those blue spots, but yeah, you didn't do much. Very unusual. I think he took it easy on us because we were taking it easy on him. I think what's happened. Is that it? Nah, you don't have me. Look at this blue spot. These are, this is very unusual for this blue spot to come in like this because every time I've hey. another mulloway there, number six mulloway, just coming in one after the other. But these blue spots, every time I've hooked these, these things have gone like mulloway. They really have screamed line off me. This guy was just lazy, 10 pound line and didn't do anything. I don't know what the go with that is. It's like he was just knew he was going to get let go or something, no? Oh, I got one. Yeah. <laughs> it filled all right, actually. That's it. We got six mull away in the end. We pretty much used eight yabbies, and we got six mull away. So it was a really good, really good effort. Um, back into my hometown. Brings back memories. And what do you know? Make that mull away number seven. It's just ridiculous. It's pretty much mull away every bait at the moment down here. Geez, I'd love some big live baits or strips at the moment, but it was good fun just on the yabbies. And yeah, these guys are perfect miniatures of the big ones. They really are perfect miniatures. And they're great fun. They make you smile every time. We'll let him go. Yeah. Anyway, guys, if you ain't fishing, you're wishing. I'll see you on the water catches.